Find the general solution to the differential equation y double prime plus 9y equals secant squared of 3t. So as always, we need to find our homogeneous solution, where we set the left-hand side equal to 0. And from there, we can use our characteristic or auxiliary equation, where the power of r is equal to the amount of derivatives being taken on y. So y double prime is r squared plus 9, and there is no prime here, so there is no r, equals 0. So r squared equals negative 9, and you take the square root, so r equals 0 plus or minus 3i, where alpha equals 0 and beta equals 3. Therefore, y homogeneous in a complex solution equals e to the alpha t times c1 cosine of beta t plus c2 sine of beta t. And plugging in that alpha is 0, e to the 0 is 1 and you can just get rid of that. So y homogeneous now equals c1 cosine of 3t plus c2 sine of 3t. And we're going to need the cosine and sine terms, where we'll call them y1 and y2, to find our particular solution, where y particular equals v1y1 plus v2y2. And we will be using the Ronskin approach and not the system of equations approach because this version is a lot better, in my opinion. So v1 equals negative integral of y2 f of t over Ronskian, where f of t is the right-hand side, and v2, on the other hand, equals integral of y1 f of t over Ronskian. And as you know from linear algebra, Ronskian is used to find out whether two functions are linearly independent, so you need to find their derivatives as well. And with their determinant, you can see y1, y2 prime, minus y1 prime, y2, is what you need to do to find Ronskian. And we already said from our homogeneous solution that y1 is cosine of 3t, and y2 equals sine of 3t. So we just got to take some derivatives. y1 prime is negative 3 sine of 3t, and y2 prime equals 3 cosine of 3t. Make sure to bring the coefficient of the t term out to the front every time you take a derivative. Plugging this little table in, y1 is cosine of 3t times y2 prime, 3 cosine of 3t, minus y1 prime, negative 3 sine of 3t, times y2 sine of 3t. So Ronskian equals we have 3 cosine squared of 3t plus 3 sine squared of 3t. And using the basic trig property where sine squared plus cosine squared equals 1, we can factor out the 3 to give us that term. And we can turn the inside term into just 1. Therefore, Ronskin equals 3. And now we have all we need to find v1 and v2. So v1 equals negative integral of y2 sine of 3t times f of t secant squared of 3t over Ronskin of 3 dt. This equals negative one third integral of sine of 3t, where we will take one secant and flip it on the bottom to turn into cosine so we can get one tangent term out of this and we keep one secant as well. So as you know from Calc 2, this is a pretty common integral, where it's tan of 3t times secant of 3t dt. And if you just think for a sec, what term do you have to take the derivative to get a tan secant? That's just secant. So going the other way now, v1 equals negative one third times one third since there's an inner coefficient they have to bring as a denominator as well. And this would just be one third times secant of 3t. Therefore, v1 equals negative one ninth secant of 3t. For v2, the integral of y1, which is cosine 3t, times f of t secant squared of 3t, dt over Romskian of 3. And fortunately, 
one of the cosine terms gets to cancel since it's cosine 3t over cosine 3t, but we are left over with just a single secant term now. And the proof for this integral also sucks, so you gotta memorize that the integral of secant is ln secant plus tan, which means that in this context, you have to also again bring out the one third times ln absolute value of secant of 3t plus tan of 3t. There's a video of black pen, red pen, I believe, doing the proof of this, and he literally multiplies it by secant tan. So it's not something you can just do logically, it's kind of a really annoying proof. So v2 now equals 1 9th ln absolute value of secant 3t plus tan of 3t. And that's it. Looking back at our y particular solution, where it's v1 y1 plus v2 y2, now we just plug in our v1 y1s, negative 1 9 secant of 3t times the y1, which we said was cosine of 3t, plus v2, this whole term, y2, which was sine of 3t. We can see here pretty quickly that the secant and cosine terms cancel. However, this whole term on the right side here does not cancel. So now y particular, I'll rearrange the negative 1 9th on the other side, equals 1 9th sine of 3t times our whole ln term minus 1 9th. And that's our particular solution. So for y general, as you know, it equals yh plus y particular. We just have to add both our solutions now. So looking here for our yh, I'll start that. c1 cosine of 3t plus c2 sine of 3t plus this whole term minus 1 9th. And that is our answer. I hope this video made sense. If it did, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.